Let's now talk about acid-base imbalances. So respiratory alkalosis is where we have a pH that is greater than 7.45 and a PaCO2 that is less than 35. Causes of respiratory alkalosis include hyperventilation due to fear or anxiety, as well as salicylate toxicity. Treatment of respiratory alkalosis includes addressing the underlying cause. So for example, providing anti-anxiety medications to a patient who is experiencing anxiety, as well as having the patient breathe into a paper bag in order to increase levels of CO2. Respiratory acidosis is where we have a pH that is less than 7.35 and a PaCO2 that is greater than 45. Causes of respiratory acidosis include hypoventilation due to respiratory disorders such as asthma, pneumonia, or COPD, just to name a few, or respiratory depression due to sedative medications such as opioid analgesics. Treatment of respiratory acidosis includes oxygen, mechanical ventilation, and reversal of sedative medications. For example, administering naloxone for an opioid overdose.